Okay, guys, I'm downstairs in the basement now at John's house. So we'll pull this furnace out, new furnace will go back in the same spot, new coil on top of that. And then we're going to take the furnace and set it directly down on the ground and do a wraparound for our filter system. And we'll do a 5 inch filter on either side of the furnace. Um, there should be enough room on this side right now to handle the 5 inch filter, and then we'll, we'll add the other one over here. It is a D width furnace. sitting up on a big base. Water heater is going to get changed out too because this basement was flooded. Um, the water was over my head. It was basically in the bottom of the ductwork. You can see where it's all dirty there. Um, the ductwork stays the same. We're not changing anything out there. However, I would like you to strap this stuff back up again. Uh, water heater will get replaced with a new 50 gallon water heater and replace all the flue pipe back down into the system and I'll figure out what size T that is and we can rebuild all that. There is a humidifier mounted here to this side that will get replaced as well. So we'll do a new bypass humidifier and we'll bypass back up onto the supply side. Um, I think currently it's bypassed over here to the front. Right there. And refrigerant lines will get flushed and pressure tested. Just for your reference, there's that door I just came in. Breaker panel is going to end up getting changed out too. I'll do another video for that. Hey guys, I'm at John Butner's house. We got a flooded system. Condenser's still working just fine. He doesn't want to replace that. It's a five ton Linux. Um, it does not have, it's got a new coil attached to it, Linux coil. Um, we would do a new disconnect box, a new electrical rip, and then flush and pressure test all the line set. Access to the basement is down through this hole or through the house. Um, it's pretty tight as you can see. Um, and then the furnace is right inside of the wall, or around the corner here.